Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to see what assignments you have and how to either submit an assignment or click mark as done. So once you're signed in in your profile, you're going to click on the waffle and go to Google Classroom. From here, you can click on sample Google Classroom. That's our classroom that we're using. So our first assignment says, Maria Sylvain posted a new assignment, listen to the water cycle song before science class. So this is one where you are not creating a product to add to it. So you are simply doing what it says. So you're gonna watch the video by clicking on the video. It will play in your browser. Then you're gonna click the back button and then you just click mark is done and then mark is done because there isn't anything to physically turn into this and this allows your teacher to know that you did see the water cycle song video. So now we're gonna go back to our Google Classroom and the second assignment in our stream is this one. So we're gonna click on it. Once you click on it, it says read and or listen to the story, the pout pout fish goes to school Afterwards, draw a picture of your favorite part using Google Drawings. So here, to listen to the, to the book, you're going to click on the video and press play. Once again, it plays inside. You're going to hit the back arrow. And now we're back on our page. Now, for your work, it says to draw a picture of your favorite part using Google Drawings. Here, I create a template that I would like for you to use. So you're going to click on the template. And it says my favorite part of the story is, and then you'll use the tools to draw a picture of your favorite part. You can X out of that. And then once you're finished, then we're gonna click turn in. However, if there's not a template created for you, you would can go to add or create. And over here, we're creating a Google drawing. So click on Google drawing. This will create one for you inside here where it is already shared with your teacher. It's already labeled with the title reading response. So here you have a blank one that you can draw a picture of your favorite story or do whatever assignment they wanted you to do. So I'm just going to X out of that. Now for this, because this was something extra I created, doesn't need to be turned in. I'm going to click on the X and that removes it from this tab. And then we're just going to turn in our drawing. So we click on turn in and then turn in once more. Now, if by chance you forgot to do something or you prematurely click turn in, if your teacher has allowed you to do this, you can click on the unsubmit button and it will bring it back to you. So if you forgot to do something, you can go back and make changes as long as that's a feature that your teacher has allowed. So we're just gonna click turn in again and turn in again. One last thing I wanna show you is your to-do list. So your to-do list, you can activate, you can access it that way. So over here, assigned, we have no work assigned because we haven't, because we just did it. Under missing, we have no missing work. And under done, it will say turned in. A shortcut to this is if you click on this clipboard with the person when you're on your main screen, it will tell you a list of your assignments and if you've turned them in or not, or, and if they have a due date when they are due. Okay, and that's it.